and I will have an advantage here to receive the ball in. And then I'm in the good position, not me, but the taller girl or boy, to come in to receive the pass in. So we are playing again five on five. This defensive man, uh, player must be active because she or he will cut and so she must uh, be active and uh, help in this case. This is one possibility you have to explain also uh, or you uh, can explain to the players. But they have another one. This is that they, we didn't make till now, but I noticed th three times today, three times in the gym already with last two together, that girls are already go to, the, to make a pick immediately to the ball. We insist on this game to make a way pick, you know, to go away to, to make a space and to move. But this is second possibility here. And again, we will come to in a position two on one. That means ball from here go to here. And then immediately go set a pick. And what happened now with this defensive player here? This is blocking out with the uh, screen. And we, in this case, have this possibility against pick and roll because this player cannot help. It's too far away or behind. And there will be two on one. So this will go in and we have possibility to make uh, this pass immediately in if this player arrives to stop penetration, but she or he will be late for sure because he is far away. If he is close, then he can help, but he is far away, he leaving this player. So, so in this case, we are coming always in a, a moving situation uh, to resolve also this situation when defensive player leave players alone. But as a first thing, please insist to improve also this player to shoot for two points, also for three points. On position four, we always need very, we need very much, also Laszlo talk about this, players who are dangerous also in the high post position for three points. Yes, please. Over the days that you've seen the coaches coach, is there anything that we are missing? We are mi you are missing something? Yeah, exactly. Are we missing something with the kids that we should be hitting home with, expressing more? As I already said, insist and develop uh, ab uh, 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 kind, kind of moving without the ball. Especially this. So because uh, uh, my experience, I mostly work with uh, boys, is that they are watching too much NBA basketball much. So they are looking for this isolation on the uh, point guard, on the uh, one forward, another forward, and another player sustained. So that's the reason why uh, Rado and me prepare this motion offense, we are all involved, and they must be involved in this movement to come uh, uh, over. So that's the reason I will talk about this last day. Uh, four players out and one in. So all four players in the outside position have possibility to penetrate, to cut, and everything else. And uh, king of area is number five, because we need also to play somebody under the basket. No? If not, it's this handball, it's not basketball anymore. So we need or with cutting, passing in, or the, with playing uh, with the one player inside. And we play also in this situation. So you are working now on three on three, tomorrow will be the same. So insist on this move. I noticed in some groups that they are working excellent this job because you insist, especially with the first group, this move always in first, fake inside, come out to receive and then uh, go again in movement. That's the reason why always I personally insist on first when we start with the young kids on dynamic one-on-one. -on -one. And then, in progression, when the players will be better, 
they will play also uh, static one on one. I will show you now uh, one uh, drill which I use very often with uh, my teams or use or un uh, not so only. This is, I put in pre throw line and stand it. One, two, three players. And here also one, two, three. First without the ball, others with the ball. And I or my assistant, coach, are here. So first without the ball, what what he must do? We cut in always in the area at least <coughs> in the area and come up, we cut. And with the left hand, with the left hand. This player must pass to him, okay, or to her. Immediately, not turning, immediately they must turn to the basket. So I am coming in from this position up, and when I am coming, do you remember this one, two, one, two? I'm ready, I'm ready. So as I know my players, I, if this player is, not good shooter. I stay here. And uh, he or she must read what I'm doing. I'm not going out. So that means he is alone. Defensive man, defensive player is late. What she must do? Shoot. Of course. In next case, now, this player is without, without the ball. He or she is going in. V cut, come here. And this, another one, is passing the ball again to the middle. So I know this player is not so strong in penetration. In this case, I go here out on him, close out. No? And now, what she or he is do this, in this case? Penetrate. Or to the basket, or only one dribble, one dribble, stop, and shot. This is very useful drill to develop uh, this kind of reading of defense. And you can change after that also this position uh, to have penetration al also from uh, uh, forward position for one or another. And you are, in this case, you must put, of course, always you must leave one spot free. In this spot, players are coming. So this is situation three, uh, with three players, for example. No? They are moving and we have this spot because this spot is in the beginning is the best. They can use left, right, shot from uh, the middle and so on. No? So insist on this. And if you want to have uh, this from uh, uh, 45 degree angle, then you put the players so and on another side, another guard here. So in this case, first is without the ball, up, in, and this pass is coming here. And in this case, coach again here, and then they read again. So you have an idea how this simple exercise works, but work excellent. 